Hi guys, my name is Colin and this is Colin Talks Crypto. Block One and prominent investors launched Bullish Global with $10 billion in funding and announced the 2021 launch of the new cryptocurrency exchange, Bullish. All right, guys, hot off the press. I'm just going to pop out a quick video here. May 11th, 2021. This news directly from Block One themselves. There is a new cryptocurrency exchange coming this year before the bull run is over, hopefully, by Block One, and it's called Bullish. And there are some major investors involved in this particular exchange. This is something you do not want to ignore because we have Peter Thiel, None other than Peter Thiel here investing in Bullish, Alan Howard, Louis Bacon, Richard Lee, Mike Novogratz, Christian Angermeyer, and Nomura. These are some huge names, and this is some huge money. So let's dive into what this is and what this means exactly, and then I'll give you my two cents on it afterwards. Block One is the company that created the EOS IO software, and thus the EOS blockchain was born from that software. Now, Block One has had a bumpy start, I would say. You know, I feel like the EOS blockchain has gotten a lot of bad public opinion, um, bad PR, and poor marketing or no marketing. And they launched their voice platform, which in my opinion was a complete flop. I mean, I've used it and it's fun, but then they actually took it offline recently and they're going to do a 180 degree pivot and turn it into some kind of NFT marketplace for creators and artists. And I feel like they're just chasing the trends with that particular platform. Not to mention it's a really utterly horrible launch where they announced it like two years ago and then it wasn't even ready until a year later. But Brendan Bloomer, the CEO of Block One, has told all of us that he has learned a lot from that launch and the mistakes made with it with voice. And Block One intends to correct that with its release of Bullish, the exchange, and Bullish Global. So Bullish is a new blockchain-based cryptocurrency exchange designed to combine the performance, user privacy, and compliance offered by central order book technology with the vertically integrated user benefits of decentralized finance market architecture. Basically, they're creating a DeFi platform operating as an exchange that will allow an AMM type trading platform, an automated market making type platform that also includes lending and portfolio management tools, etc. So this is not just a simple exchange. They're actually going to integrate lending as well. So that's cool. You'll be able to make a passive income on bullish the exchange. So let's take a look a little deeper here. Bullish will utilize the EOS IO and the EOS public blockchain. That's big news for all of us. They have actually committed and confirmed they're going to use the EOS public blockchain to produce a cryptographically validated, provable, and immutable audit trail of all transactions processed on the Bullish platform. So this is different than your typical exchange. A typical exchange is 100% centralized, and it is not open to public view. What happens behind closed doors is not open to public view. You only have what the centralized exchange like Coinbase or Binance chooses to put forth. Well, if every single trade is cryptographically validated and recorded on the EOS public blockchain, that's a pretty big game changer in terms of transparency. So every single transaction on Bullish is going to be transparently visible and recorded on the EOS blockchain. That has several ramifications. So not only does that mean we have trust and transparency in an exchange like never before, there's no fractional reserve nonsense going on because you have everything recorded for all eyes to see. But for EOS token holders, it also means that we have adoption and utility of the token on an increased basis. For example, Block One is injecting $100 million into this exchange, 164,000 of their 240,000 plus Bitcoin into this exchange, and 20 million EOS tokens out of their 100 million total EOS tokens into this exchange. So the fact that they are injecting this much Bitcoin and this chunk of EOS into the exchange Change, not any other cryptocurrencies, just Bitcoin and EOS, goes to show that they are serious about using the EOS mainnet. And what's going to happen here is because we have every transaction and everything being recorded on the EOS public blockchain with a cryptographically validated, provable, and immutable audit trail, that means that we're going to have increased usage on the EOS mainnet. 
like tremendous increased usage. Can you imagine how much traffic an exchange does with every trade that's being performed on its platform? And then to record every single action on a public blockchain, which you couldn't do with something like Ethereum or Bitcoin or these other ones, they don't have high enough throughput. But EOS was designed with high throughput and scaling in mind. And so EOS can handle this. It is worth noting that they do mention EOS IO as well. So it's possible they will use other blockchains in conjunction with the EOS mainnet. But they have officially and formally stated the EOS public blockchain as one they will be using. So it is not ambiguous and it's not left up to wonder anymore. EOS mainnet is on the roadmap for bullish. And so what this means is because all this transparency is being recorded on the EOS mainnet, that uses resources, and they're going to need a tremendous amount of CPU and net and all of this. And so if you're holding EOS tokens, and you've staked those tokens, and you're lending them on the resource exchange, you're now going to get an increased cut. Because basically, you as an EOS token holder are offering your resources to this potential powerhouse of an exchange. And let's say it reaches the levels of Coinbase or Binance. Can you imagine how much passive income you might be making in terms of lending out your tokens so that the bullish network can continue to operate and can continue to produce those cryptographically validated, provable, and immutable audit trails recorded directly on the blockchain. So by being an EOS token holder, you now have the ability to participate in this exchange, even though you weren't able to directly invest in it. And I'll get to that in a second, because I think those are the guys who are really going to make out in this particular launch. As an EOS token holder, you do have the ability to rake in some profits to lend your EOS tokens on the Rex, and Bullish will be using that resource to run itself. So I would expect to see greater and greater passive rewards by staking EOS once Bullish launches, and especially once it gains traction and if it becomes successful. And to me, it looks like there's a good chance it will become successful because it is innovating and it is doing things that have never been done before on an exchange. There's no exchange that is public except for DEXs that do this complete on chain record. And so we have sort of a hybrid here where we have an exchange that's got a centralized company behind it, but it's also recording things on a blockchain. So I really like that. And I really like the fact that it's offering new automated market making, lending and portfolio management tools. So it looks like it's going to be fairly feature rich. So if we add up all the assets that are being injected here, if we have 20 million EOS at roughly $11 per EOS currently, that's $220 million. If we take the 164,000 Bitcoin and we multiply that times the approximate Bitcoin price currently, that's $9.3 billion. So if we add to that the 220 million, we then get up to 9.5 billion dollars. We add to that another 100 million in cash. So then we're up to 9.65 billion dollars. So you can see here that they have injected an enormous amount of capital and they'll be adding 300 million dollars through a strategic investment round. Now, I think that the real beneficiaries of this particular platform are unfortunately going to be those who invested directly in bullish itself. They're going to go public with this and all these investors right here listed on your screen, Peter Thiel, Galaxy Digital, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, are the ones who are going to make out like gangbusters because they got to invest in on the ground floor. They're going to go public, they're going to sell those shares to the public and rake in a ton and ton of profits off of this. So I would say that number one, primarily, these investors on the screen right here are the ones who make out the most from bullish. But EOS token holders at least get something and at least the EOS mainnet is being used. They're not completely ignoring EOS. So it is what it is. But if I had my way and I had a lot of capital, I would invest directly into bullish. And I think that that would make me the most return on investment. And not only are these particular investors involving their money into bullish, it says, in addition to participating in the latest funding round for Bullish Global, Peter Thiel, Alan Howard, Richard Lee, and Christian Angermeyer will serve as senior advisors to the company. So they're actually taking an active role in the exchange, and that actually is a very positive sentiment. That shows me that their confidence is such that they plan to stick around and advise the company because they do believe in it and they believe in what they're investing in. So that is very bullish, in my opinion, pun intended. And uh, that's what we have, guys. I'm excited about this as an EOS token holder. I think that my sentiment now has shifted with EOS. I've gone from being kind of neutral about it and watching it from the sidelines, although invested, to making this particular statement. From this point forward till the end of the bull run, I think that holding EOS, because of this particular announcement, 
is a smart thing to do. And I think that I will personally be holding my EOS until that moment where I sell at the bull run peak because I think that we're going to see the reversal continue. We're going to continue to see the EOS Ethereum and the EOS Bitcoin trading pairs continue to rebound off those lower levels. And it's going to be greatly assisted with this particular news. You know, it's funny how the EOS price pumps on news that we already knew about. At least most of us within the EOS community knew about this, but probably the wider cryptosphere did not know what's happening with bullish. And so now they're getting a taste of it and now they're hearing the news. And like it or not, that's how markets work. You know, people buy the hype, they buy the rumor, and they sell the news. And so right now, the price is pumping for EOS because the news just came out, and that's just how it works. But my personal excitement will be when I get to see the actual exchange in action, because I do have to just take a step back and go, you know, Block One has said a lot of things, and they've really talked a lot of big game, but they haven't backed it up too much. Like I said, voice has been kind of a flop thus far, and I think they are pivoting. I'm just not sure how successful that's going to be. It's it's taking them a very long time to build a very simple platform, in my opinion, speaking about voice. And I do think that they've learned a lot of lessons. I don't think that that's nonsense. And so I believe when Brendan Bloomer says they're going to do it right this time, they're going to launch it and announce it close to the actual date instead of this pre-announcement so far in advance. So assuming that's all true, we should be seeing the launch of Bullish fairly soon. I would say within a couple of months at most, because Brendan Bloomer has stated that it was a mistake to announce voice so far in advance of its actual launch. So let's assume that he learned from that mistake. That means that bullish is coming relatively soon. That also means that they're going to hit the tail end of the Bitcoin bull run and the crypto bull run as a whole, which I think is utterly vital. If they launch bullish after the bull run is over, it's pretty much the biggest flop you could make as far as an investor. And I really don't think that they'll do that because when you have all these big names investing in bullish, all this huge amount of capital being invested in bullish, and they're going to go public and they're going to IPO, IPOs work on hype a lot of the time. If you take any mining stock, its hype is the greatest when Bitcoin's price is the greatest. And likewise with bullish going public, any smart investor is going to want to release this during the hype of the Bitcoin bull run. And I have no doubt in my mind that all these guys who have put all this money into it are tracking with that 100%. These guys right here have every bit of aligned incentive to make sure that bullish launches during the height of the fervor of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies bull run. So incentives are aligned here for making this happen this year during the Bitcoin bull run. And I do think that that bodes incredibly well for the EOS token price. So that's all I have for you guys. It's been a very long time coming. I really, really hope that the EOS price rebounds back up to the ranges where it recovers most or all of its value from the ICO if priced in Bitcoin and Ethereum because it's lost tremendous amounts of value. And so it needs something like this to push it back up and to keep the hype going and to put it back in good public opinion. And I think that this could be the first step that starts that catalyst even further already happening. We rebounded the price back in February, and I think that we're just going to continue to go up from this point forward using Bullish Global as the springboard for increased price movements and the catalyst for EOS's price appreciation for the remainder of this bull run. Thanks a bunch, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon.